Good evening. Welcome to the Corrine High School Class of 2020 graduation ceremony. This event is the culmination of years of hard work and perseverance on the part of the students, the staff, the families, and the community of Corrine Township. Obviously, this year is different from any other graduation that we have held in Corrine's history. This year, many will say that the current events in our world robbed our seniors of tradition and events. And while some of this may be true, I believe and would assert that this has given our seniors an opportunity to show what they're made of, to show the great side of Corrine Township and Corrine High School. We will persevere. We are proud of our students and this does not diminish any of their efforts, accolades, and accomplishments. Our seniors have shown their character by continuing to work hard both with their class route, with their class work, on the jobs, and in the community. They have continued to study, take assessments, do their work, and all the other duties assigned to this time of the year. Many of our, many of our seniors and our Corrine staff have demonstrated the true meaning of being a Cardinal. Over the next hour and a half, you will hear and, and see many of the recognitions of our seniors and their accomplishments. You will get a chance to see the over 512 graduates that are leaving Corrine High School in order to go out and leave their mark on the world. Let's celebrate their accomplishments. Let's be thankful for the opportunity that we've had to spend time with these students. On behalf of the Board of Education and all the dedicated staff of the Northwest Local School District, I welcome you to the graduation for the class of 2020. At this time, I'd like to introduce our choir under the leadership of Mr. Blake Huffaker, and this will be followed by Mr. Michael Stevens. Thank you.
At this time, we would like to recognize this year's class officers and the senior class for their leadership and their achievements. They have been exemplary in their leadership and organizing activities throughout their four years. Additionally, we wish to say thanks to the senior class president, David Fox, and the 2020 class officers for their leadership. It is my pleasure to introduce the Herb Jones Students of the Year for 2020. These two seniors are known for their leadership, spirit, pride, talents, and intelligence. This year's award winners are Grace Sievert and Archer Ehrenschwender. At this time, I am proud to recognize members of the Elite 32-1420 Club. The criteria for membership are earning a 32 or higher on the ACT and a 1420 or higher on the SAT. It is important to note the SAT score represents a change in the scoring system from past years. These scores represent the 99th percentile scores on these two prestigious standardized tests. Students who qualify for this honor have scored in the 99th percentile nationally on both of these college entrance exams. The following students are members of the 32-1420 club. Isabella Bodenstein, David Fox, Justin Mativia, Tara Pudel, Ebenezer Samir, Micaiah Thacker. Next, we would like to recognize those students who have earned an honors diploma. To obtain an honors diploma, students must meet strict coursework requirements. These students have met stringent course requirements and other required components. The requirements include a 3.5 GPA or higher, 27 or higher on the ACT, and a 1280 or higher on the SAT. Congratulations to the 70 students who have earned an honors diploma this year. Next up, Assistant Principal Mr. Pollitt will introduce our Butler Tech recognitions. Thank you, Mr. Stevens. This year, 215 members of the class of 2020 participated in a two-year career and technical education program through Butler Tech. Their teachers were asked to choose students of the year who represent the tops in the class for each field of study. Here are this year's Butler Tech students of the year. Criminal Justice, Alex Sexton and Madison Lahneman. Commercial Trucking, Naaman Wallace Miller. Business, Ariam Gabriel. Dental Assisting, Fatimata Diallo. Sports Medicine, Ali Haverkamp. Precision Machining, Daniel Connect. And Programming and Software Development, Aaron Keitlinger. One of the new initiatives of our high school redesign process is the reality that certain students will be able to graduate from high school with more than just a diploma. This year, we have 11 students that have not only earned their high school diploma, but also will leave Coleraine High School with an associate's degree from Sinclair College. The following students have earned an associate's degree from Sinclair College. Kyle Burgess, Michael Easton, Devin Helms, Jesse Hitzman, Alexander Lay, Damian Rowan, Benjamin Siener, Patrick Slonick, Corinne Steigar, Billy Vernatter, and Nolan Worley. Congratulations to this year's Butler Tech Students of the Year and Associate's Degree recipients. At this time, Assistant Principal Mr. Hawes will continue our recognitions. Thank you, Mr. Pollitt. The National Honor Society serves to acknowledge those students who have demonstrated excellence in the areas of scholarship, leadership, service, and character. Many of the members of the National Honor Society were inducted at the end of their junior year. These students were presented with gold tassels. Congratulations to the 24 members of the National Honor Society. We also want to honor these students who have achieved special designations based off their hard work and preparation over the last four years. These students received gold tassels to recognize their achievement. Students recognized as cum laude have earned a grade point average of 3.57 to 4.15 weighted GPA. Congratulations to the 120 students who have earned the distinction of cum laude. Students recognized as magna cum laude have earned a grade point average of 4.39 to 4.16 weighted GPA. Congratulations to the 24 students 
who have earned the distinction of magna cum laude. <clears throat> Students recognize that summa cum laude have earned the grade point average of 4.40 or higher weighted GPA. Congratulations to the 16 students who earned the distinction of summa cum laude. We would also like to recognize all of our students serving in our country. We have confirmation of the following students who will serve our country in the armed services. Willie Clark, Marines. Adam Hinkle, Army. Bryce Jervik, Army Reserves. Ganga Cannell, Army Reserves. Aaron May, Army Reserves. And Reagan Turney, Army. Congratulations and thank you for your service. Now please welcome Senior Class Principal, Mrs. Davis. Good evening. Class of 2020, you made it. You're here. You've worked so hard, maybe stumbled a little along the way, but you did it. You should be proud. I have seen you grow over the last four years. You have changed so much from that young face as a nervous freshman into a mature adult ready to enter the world. You may not know it, but I was in your shoes what seems to be a short 17 years ago. I was getting ready to walk into Millette Hall and join my fellow 457 Coleraine High School classmates as we were preparing to graduate and enter the next chapter of our lives. Although we had more of a typical graduation ceremony, our worlds were still filled with uncertainty, nervousness, and mounds of excitement. Almost half my life has been spent within the walls of Coleraine High School. You could say, it's my home away from home. There are a great deal of things that I have learned while walking these halls, but today I'm going to specifically talk about the three of them that mean the most to me. First is friendship. I have made friends that have stood by me through thick and thin, the good and the bad, the highs and the lows. Friendships from high school and now coworkers turned best friends. These bonds have been and will be with me for years to come. These friends have walked beside me in our college graduations, stood beside me in my wedding, and supported me through some of the hardest times of my life. These are relationships I cherish beyond measure. The people that you have become friends with over the last four years have made a mark on you. Maybe some more than others, but they are there for a reason. They are there to lean on during tough times. They are there to celebrate with during the most exciting times. They are there to stop and get a chocolate shake at Gold Top with when you have nothing better to do. There will be times in your life when your friends that you have made at Coleraine High School will be those that carry you the most. As the late great Bill Withers sings in his famous song, lean on me when you're not strong and I'll be your friend, I'll help you carry on. For it won't be long till I'm gonna need somebody to lean on. Class of 2020, I hope during your time here at CHS, you have formed lifelong friendships that will hold strong in your heart for years to come. The second thing I've learned is community. Throughout my time as both a student and staff member, I have seen this community come together to do some amazing things. Whether it be every Friday night at a football game, cheering for victory, or a Tuesday afternoon as we crowd the corner in support of a school levy, we have supported one another to accomplish some big things. And during those harder times, when a cardinal falls, it is this community that jumps in in full support of whatever is needed. It is also this community that is the first to lend a hand to others in need. Think about it. How, how often does an entire township line the streets to send a team off in hopes of a victory? How many times do we show support for another by wearing orange or red. Sweetly sung by Andrea Day, all we need, all we need is hope, and for that we have each other, and for that we have each other. We will rise, we will rise. Class of 2020, the Coleraine High School community is hard to beat. You should be proud that you are a Cardinal. Even though you are moving into the next phase of your life, you will forever be part of the Cardinal community. The third thing would be love. The things that might seem odd to love while in high school are oddly enough the things that challenged me to grow into the person I am today. Waking up early and pulling into the parking lot to get to my first bell just before 740 helped train me to now get here early enough to get a good spot in the staff parking lot, although some days this might still be a struggle. 
Figuring out time management and organization, such as what books I needed from my locker, because back in my day, you couldn't carry a book bag. This now looks like juggling meetings, teacher observations, deadlines, and cafeteria duty. You never know how much you love something until it's gone. Over the course of the last eight weeks, I've missed many things I took for granted. The sound of the bells echoing through the hallway, the smell of french fries on Friday, the goosebumps you feel when the band starts to play the fight song. Take a minute and think about the things that maybe you took for granted and you would love one more chance to see, feel, or hear. Just like Macklemore and Kesha sang, now that I'm here wishing I was still young, those good old days. I wish somebody would have told me, babe, that someday these will be the good old days. Class of 2020, what things will stick with you? What things from CHS are ingrained within you to form the person you are today? I say this to challenge you. Think about the top three things that CHS has taught you. They might not all seem like fun, exciting things right now, but there are things that you have learned that will become life lessons. Things that have formed you as an individual. Things that have altered who you will be and make you stand out for the person sitting next to you in your first college course or your first day on the job. I'm also going to challenge all of you to not let this time of change and challenge define your time here at CHS. Don't let the ending be how you remember your time at Corrine High School. As Garth Brooks said it best, I'm glad I didn't know the way it all would end, the way it all would go. Our lives are better left to chance. I could have missed the pain, but I'd have had to miss the dance. Class of 2020, your time here was the dance. The end might have brought some pain, and this is probably not how you envisioned it, but it was part of the dance. Congratulations and my very best wishes for all of you wherever your future takes you. Next, we will hear from the students who were chosen to represent our summa cum laude graduates. All students earning the summa cum laude honor were given the opportunity to submit a graduation speech. These students took this task to heart and were selected to present tonight. It is my honor to introduce Mallory Burke, Addison Fitz, David Fox, and Jonathan Romero. Class of 2020, this phrase has been ingrained in our minds since the first day of kindergarten. Of course, back then we had no idea what it really meant. But gradually, as we got older, we began to understand the concept every one of our teachers mentioned at some point during the school year. As we passed through each grade, it seemed like time was passing slowly, like the year 2020 would never arrive. But after 12 years of school, it finally has, and it's nothing like we all expected. The first day of freshman year, everything was so exciting and new. We all made new friendships, lost old ones, and maybe even rekindled ones from elementary school. We went to our first football games and dressed for the themes. We performed for the first time in the auditorium. We played our first games on the fields or in the gym, and we went to our first pep rallies. We took goofy pictures in front of the lockers, and we ran through the hallways laughing and ready to take on high school. We made our first memories at the place we would spend the next four years of our lives. And this year, we experienced our last. We went to our last high school football game and last performances. We turned in our last assignments and we hugged our friends. We spent the last four years working up to this day, though it felt like it all happened in the blink of an eye. Time passes you by much faster than you realize, especially when you have so much fun. And now, it's time for us to move on to bigger things for the future. Here we are, after many trials and tribulations, after entering the world during the tragedy of 9-11, we are now graduating after losing the last portion of our senior year to a global pandemic. A pandemic that could have potentially ruined all of the fun activities all the other classes got to experience before us. In the, face, in the face of the pandemic, however, we rose. We rose to the challenge that was online classes and not seeing our friends all the time. Now it was stay six feet apart, don't touch anything, you can't see your friends, you can't eat in at restaurants, don't go out unless it is absolutely essential, you're not going back to school for months, and in our case, ever. This is obviously not the graduation we all envisioned. Not being able to sit with our friends in our red caps and gowns and walk across that stage to get the diplomas we've all worked so hard for was something we never thought we'd have to deal with. Events like prom and graduation and last seasons for athletes and performances for musicians and showcases for artists were just automatically assumed were going to happen. 
the last events of our childhood were lost and we had to grow up. We had to quickly realize that this was the end of our childhood days and it was something not so easy to accept. Despite missing out on these things, the class of 2020 has remained strong. We have risen to all of the challenges placed in front of us and we have thrived. In 10, 20, even 30 years from now, we will be the class that gets to look back and remember not that only did we survive, but we flourished in the face of total adversity. Walt Disney once said, with all the adversity I've had in my life, all my troubles and obstacles have strengthened me. You may not realize when it happens, but a kick in the teeth may be the best thing in the world for you. And a kick in the teeth these past few months have certainly been. We did not have a traditional senior year, but that has just made us more unique. We've had the opportunity to learn so many life lessons that other classes before us may not have. One major life lesson is to never take anything for granted. With the blink of an eye, things have been taken away from us, but we have prospered nonetheless. Later in life, we will not remember the things that were stolen from us, but rather the things that we gained. We've gained a much bigger sense of responsibility through having to keep up with online schooling, and we have also gained a larger appreciation for life and opportunity. These lessons are ones we will carry with us for the rest of our lives and potentially pass down to our children and theirs. They've told us since the beginning that high school will be the best time of our lives and that we'll remember it forever. We really had no idea how true that would be. Though we didn't have the most traditional senior year, it certainly has been one for the books and we will cherish all of the memories that we have made with the people around us. Corrine High School. Thank you so much for helping to make the four years of high school so memorable. Being a Corrine Cardinal is a high honor and I hope we represent you well. Corrine High School will always be a place that we can call home and we know it will always welcome us with open arms as alumni so long as we rep that red, black, and white. Saying goodbyes are difficult, but how lucky are we to have something that makes saying goodbye so hard? Together, the class of 2020 has accomplished so much, and I know that we will continue to do so outside of the four walls of Corrine. We cannot and will not be contained because we shine too brightly. I would like to wish everyone good luck for all of their future endeavors, and remember, once a cardinal, always a cardinal. Congratulations, class of 2020. Class of 2020, we made it. During the chaos that came from our senior year, we made it. Standing here thinking about all of you, I think about far more than a group of people I went to high school with. I think of my family, a family who stayed sincere and encouraging to one another in hardship. There are not enough words to fulfill what I need to say about this group of seniors. So allow me to boil everything down to one phrase. We're special. From the moment we walked into Coleraine as insignificant, awkward freshmen, it was our biggest claim to fame that we were the class of 2020. I mean, how cool is that? However, from what I've come to know over the past four years, our class is not unique because we get to graduate with a cool number. No, we are unique for reasons far beyond that. First, what makes our class one of a kind is we all have hearts of gold. From football games to celebrating one another's awards, to being each other's rocks in the last months of senior year, and to pushing each other in the classroom, our class was compassionate towards one another. We fought with and beside one another in the face of adversity. You, my friends, showed up for one another. Whenever one of us fell, we fell as a unit. But if one of us succeeded, we all rose in triumph. That makes us unique. Our victories and our failures never happened alone, and they surely never happened in silence. Along with our hearts of gold came a raging sense of passion. The diversity and uniqueness of our class did not form as a barrier. Instead, it was a blessing. When I honestly think back upon what I learned at Coleraine, I realized that the most important things did not come up from a teacher. No offense. Instead, it came from you. Every single soul I had the pleasure of knowing was passionate about who they were and where they were headed. I learned more knowledge from you than from anything that can be written in a textbook. Our growth as students and adults was always something that happened together. The passion our class had for the things that usually serve to be a line of division, we use that to unite us. We have a class that is able to overlook differences and accept one another for who we truly are. That too, my friends, makes us special. Alongside that, the class of 2020 is determined. We fight the hard battles for ourselves, for one another, and for the community. There is no such thing as an easy way out in our minds. We drove to Canton, Ohio because we were, we were determined fans. We never missed screaming the fight song because we were determined to show our love for our school. We never took pep rallies lightly because we were determined to win. 
but most importantly, we never stopped pushing each other because we were determined to be the best. That is special. Our perseverance and willpower has enabled us to be great. Now that I've raved about how great we are, I would like to say a little something to the parents, teachers, and faculty. Thank you. Despite our countless lows, you decided to stay for our highs. I know I speak for myself as well as my classmates when I say our growth, our growth as individuals comes as a thanks to you. We are who we are not only because you walked with us these past four years, but you also made promises to walk with us for a lifetime. The amount of gratitude and thankfulness I have for all of you is immeasurable. So one last time, I say thank you. Last thing, to the class of 2020, my family, I beg you to not stop here. Our time as seniors was cut short, but the amount of memory surpasses any time frame. You, yes, you are special. Goodbyes have always been hard for me, but this one is especially. Today, we all get to close our books of high school with a possible smile and tear. Leaving Coleraine and saying our final goodbyes is far from easy. But as C.S. Lewis once said, there are far, far better things ahead than any we leave behind. Hello, class of 2020. This is not the way that any of us wanted to end our senior year. We have had the end of our high school career taken from us, and along with it, all of the events that we have looked forward to. But we graduated, and now is a time for us to look back on the memories that we did make. Over these years, we have all made memories to last a lifetime. Many wins at football games, four outstanding homecomings, getting hyped at pep rallies, going out on adventures with friends, we even got to have the prom fashion show this year. We'll remember these times for years to come and be glad for the time that we spent here. Corrine High School has become a second home to many of our groups. Our musical groups have practiced long hours into the night. Drama has run rehearsals again and again. Sports teams have practiced both before and after school. We have had a lot of good times here. We've grown a lot as a class, both as a group and in as individuals. We came in as freshmen unsure of ourselves. Two middle schools collided, and we still asked each other, did you go to White Oak? I still remember seniors telling us that we'd get to our room if we just kept walking around the building. I guess now we know how they felt. Our sophomore year, we began to grow more confident. We no longer needed to be told that the building is just a big square, or that there is no fourth floor. We began to figure out what our interests were and what we wanted to do with our lives. Junior year, we all matured a lot. Many people took advantage of our Butler Tech programs and began perfecting their various skills, from working on diesel engines, to musical theater, to business, to cooking. We all took massive steps towards our goals. AP classes left some of us with an early case of senioritis, but we all came out strong. And that brings us to this year, the final stage. We all continued preparing for this next step in our lives, and looked towards the future, ready to seize the day. We made many memories during our time this year. Some of us developed senioritis early. Others managed to hold off until virtual learning. But here we all are. We're at the close. This chapter of our lives has ended. Grade school is over. We can all say goodbye to Corrine High School. But this is not the end. We are all entering a new chapter of our lives. And I'm confident that we will succeed. Our class has been through a hardship unlike any other, and it will make us stronger. In the words of the poet Khalil Gibran, the significance of a man is not in what he attains, but what he longs to attain. Our whole class strives to attain amazing goals. The class of 2020 has power to change the world. In the coming days, each of us will have the opportunity to walk across the stage with our families watching. Although it isn't the ideal circumstance, we must take it in stride. While you walk across the stage, stop and look out onto the seats of the auditorium or gym. Picture each and every one of your classmates sitting there watching you walk across the stage, watching you honor this great achievement. And for a moment, it may seem real. It is. Each and every one of you has achieved this. You have graduated. We all congratulate you. One of the newest graduates of Corrine High School, class of 2020. We are all proud of you. Go on to do great things in this world. 
We all believe in you. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Today is the day we've awaited since we first walked through the doors of Corain as freshmen in 2016. First off, I would like to say congratulations. Despite any struggles or setbacks, we've all made it here today. It's kind of crazy to look back to where it all began. We all came in ready to leave our mark on Corain, despite being unsure of how to do just that. We all came in ready to make a difference, make the most out of our high school experience, and most of all, be remembered. Due to an unfortunate turn of events, it seems that the year we've been impatiently waiting on for so long has been stripped away from us. Along with that, it seems we'll always be remembered as a class that graduated during the corona pandemic. However, we are much more than that. It may seem we've been stuck with a bad situation, but our reaction to a situation has the power to change the situation itself. We can make the most out of the situation that has been put before us and decide how we want to remember it. Because we worked too hard, made too, memories, too many memories, and accomplished too much to not celebrate this moment. And that's why we're here today, to celebrate how far we've come, what we've accomplished, and all the memories we've made throughout our unique four years of high school. We are all here today because we did it. We can finally say we graduated high school, and nobody can ever take that away from us, ever. And through all the times in high school, the good and the bad, we've been drawn together as one class with memories that will last for a lifetime. Some of us came into high school thinking we had it all figured out. I know that I did. I thought I knew where I was going to college, how it would all unfold, and what was next for me. I think it's safe to say that I was definitely wrong. Some of us may have felt the exact opposite and felt like we had no idea what was going to happen. But I think we can all say that high school experience hasn't been exactly what we expected it to be. We went through a unique and different four years to get where we are now. While I was completely wrong, I wouldn't have wanted it to turn out any differently. Corain has made me into who I am today and allowed me to grow as a person in ways I could have never imagined. We should all look back at our time at Corain and cherish it. We've been fortunate to have great people around us. I think we should give thanks to all of these people. Our counselors have done a great job preparing our schedules, preparing us for college while taking us on the path to it, and helping us grow as young adults. Our teachers came in every day and gave 100% even when we didn't want to and didn't match their effort. Everybody in the office, all of our principals, coaches, and everybody that's a part of Corain has helped, has helped us out and helped us make it to where we are today and build the culture that we've created. Thank you all for helping us get here today. The class of 2020 will always be remembered for our strong will, everlasting memories, and the overall impact that we've made on Corain. We may all be going on different paths, but today we share the common bond of graduating as a Corain Cardinal in the class of 2020. Everyone has our own unique journey, but I think it's safe to say we will always remember our time at Corain and be Cardinals forever. Thank you. Hello again, class of 2020. The lost generation, the greatest generation, the silent generation, the baby boomers, Generation X, millennials. These are some of the labels that have been given to previous generations. They're indicative of certain characteristics and certain events that describe certain generations in our history. Time will tell how this generation will be described what labels will be given to this generation. But given my experience with this class, I would like to label the class of 2020 with some labels. Talented and hardworking. Academically, athletically, in the performing arts, in the community, this class has proven to be incredibly talented. They have earned millions in scholarships, multiple athletes going to state competition, multiple academic scholarships, high marks in individual and group and state performing art events, Eagle Scouts, and other accolades in our own community and around the city of Cincinnati. This class has set itself apart from many others in their accomplishments. Caring, this is a characteristic that I get to see every single day. Our students and our groups tutor at elementary schools. They go to local nursing homes. They take on community service projects and they, and they perform daily acts of random kindness. They make sure our special needs students get to go to prom. They get to go to homecoming. And they also make sure that people just have a friend to eat lunch with. This class has a heart like no other and they have demonstrated caring 
on a daily basis. Respect. This is an issue that is very important to me. Too many times in our world and in our community, we talk about teenagers having a lack of respect. That is not what I witness on a daily basis at Corian High School. Even though teenagers are often mislabeled, the CHS students I see every day are some of the most respectful and polite students and teenagers you will ever find. Sure, there are days when things don't go as planned, tempers flare, people get frustrated. I challenge you to find a place where there's 1,900 people in the same building and, and find that these things don't happen on occasionally. But the students I see, I talk to, I work with every day, they say thank you, they open the door, they pick things up when somebody drops something, they say thank you to teachers, uh, I see emails, cards, signs, banners posted on a regular basis uh, saying thank you and showing respect to the adults in our building and in our community. They see the bigger picture when we often assume that they do not. I would assert that CHS students are like no others. As graduates, you're getting ready to enter a world where there are already thousands of CHS graduates ahead of you. They are CEOs of major corporations. They provide service and essential services on a daily basis. Those folks come back and contact us often. They support CHS both locally and from afar. They send money, they send gifts, they provide scholarships. Sometimes they just send notes of caring and encouragement. CHS is a special place. All the speeches you've seen tonight reference that. Again, I would say there are CHS graduates all over the world making a difference and finding purpose in their life. I would like to introduce one such person. Will Langford is a graduate of the class of 1983, and I reached out to him and asked him to record a special message for tonight. Thank you. Okay, let me get this straight. You are the Corain High School class of 2020. You know, I could tell just by looking at you, you guys got a lot on the ball. I mean, anyone, anyone who looks at this graduating class, they're going to see that you've got bright futures ahead of you. So let me just take a moment and say, congratulations. You know, you've been blessed in so many wonderful ways. You've got an amazing principal. You've got a wonderful administration. And you know something? You've had some pretty talented teachers who've invested in you over the years. You know, these folks all want to encourage you, especially during these days where, well, let's just face it, there's some disappointment. Please know that Coring alum all over the world are disappointed with you as well. You know, I think you're going to discover that when you're an alumnus of Coring High School, you're part of a pretty amazing family. The truth is, once you're a Cardinal, you are always a Cardinal. I mean, that's the only thing that explains that after 37 years, did I just say that? I graduated 37 years ago, but after 37 years, I still stream every game I can. I check the scores every Friday night and I still don't like Elder. But you know, even though you're not having a commencement service, you are still graduating. And graduation is a reminder that each of you have some amazing opportunities just before you. Now, I get that great opportunities in life don't come around every day. But you know, every day is full of smaller opportunities. And it's my hope that you will not take those smaller opportunities for granted because those smaller opportunities, they can yield some pretty great rewards. But I also hope you'll know that your life is full of purpose and your life is full of meaning, and your life has such value. One of my favorite quotes is this, For I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord, to give you a future and to give you hope. 
You know, it's always meant so much to me to know that my life has meaning, that I'm not just someone who randomly exists with no purpose. But if I can somehow tap into that purpose, then perhaps not only will my life make a difference, but I will also feel fulfilled in life and I will experience contentment in life. You see, without purpose, life has no meaning. And without meaning, life has no significance or hope. So with the right perspective, with the right perspective, not only will you have a lot to look forward to, but you know, you'll have opportunities to change the world around you. Let me just say congratulations, class of 2020. We cannot wait to see the hope that you introduce into your world. At this time, I'm honored to introduce to you Mr. Todd Bowling, who's the superintendent of the Northwest Local School District. Mr. Bowling, it gives me great pleasure to present to you the Corian High School Class of 2020. On behalf of the Northwest Local School District, I wish to congratulate the graduating class of 2020. Mr. Fisher, the credentials of the candidates presented here this evening have been reviewed. The candidates are entitled to the diplomas they will receive from Coleraine High School. Congratulations.
As principal, I hear, hereby declare this senior class as graduates. Congratulations to Corrine High School class of 2020. You may now move your tassel from the left to the right side. Congratulations. We love you, we care for you, we hope to see you often. This concludes our graduation ceremony. Thank you.